Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, today I just want to talk to you about uh, concept of a three piece uh, watch collection. And uh, I've been playing with that idea for some time now. And uh, uh, I gotta say, I like the idea, but uh, I don't like the idea of having just three watches. Uh, but um, if you're gonna have a three watch collection, I think you should have a three substantial watches uh, within your means as well. Uh, I came up with that because uh, way too I've been a while I did a lot of trading, wheeling, dealing, uh, traded pieces to get some for the next piece. Uh, basically I uh, traded uh, some pieces to get my, this watch uh, and I paid, uh, paid money and plus I gave uh, out of the Philippe watch just to sweeten the deal. Um, sometimes you need to do that just to push someone across the border. Of course, I traded a lot of uh, watches to get this one. Also, I had some expenses for this past month uh, and the month before. I had a, actually I had a lot of expenses, so I had to sell uh, a lot of my watches. Uh, I did a lot of trades wheeling dealing you know the deal uh, you can uh, it's, first of all it's not fun just to go and uh, take out the cash of your credit uh, card or from your wallet and buy mu much watches it's the fun it's the joy it's the fight to get the next next piece you want and uh, that's what i like about watches and collecting watches uh, also um uh, it's something I have to do because I want to show you a lot of watches uh, to have lots of watches for the channel uh, but also uh, I want to uh, I want to have something just smaller uh, but just to shorten the story uh, I, I like I said I did, I did a lot of trading viewing dealing I sold some pieces my collection I know some of you have been asking to see uh, see the collection and stuff like that but I uh, downsized my collection a lot and I like it uh, and uh, I just want to show you the three pieces uh, I now call core of my collection I have some other pieces in my collection I just, for example I have this Peter Sitson this is a Sitson a Peter watch uh, I think this is a ProMaster chronograph, quartz, cool beater, everyday watch, uh, but and some some similar watches. And so these are not my only three watches, but I call this core of my collection. So uh, first of all, I have uh, Mont Blanc, uh, which I got. Uh, I have Mont Blanc, which I got uh, last week. Uh, I have my. They just, which I just love and cover so many bases, and uh, I have a cool Peter Summer Fun Watch and Diver, um, which is Orient 3. So, uh, well, I just want to show you. I just wanted to actually, I wanted to talk a bit more about this uh, core of your collection, and I would be happy just to have these three watches and these are right now uh, as of uh, June uh, these are my three main watches in my collection until I add something else but until now I just wanted to share this idea with you and also I'm gonna switch perspectives now so I want to show you those these three watches uh, and uh, um, side by side so So yeah, uh, so here's a here's a core of my collection. This is a these are three pieces that make core of my collection, or you may say uh, you can call it the the entire watch collection. So I just want to briefly go over them and give you my thoughts and ideas why and how and why. <laughs> uh, so first uh, I have. Got a, I have a Rolex uh, Datejust. This is a 16030, uh, and this is a Datejust with a quick set date 
uh, I absolutely love it and uh, it's just a great watch uh, before this one I had an Oris RTD and uh, I always said when I get a day just I will have my Oris RTD but yeah this watch covers a lot of bases in your collection not that you need bases I hate I hate collecting like that you need this and this and that and then your collection will be ready and good to go no but it's still fun to talk about it so yeah uh, this watch covers a lot of bases first of all this is a vintage watch second of all this is a dress watch for me at least this is a very dressy watch uh, and it can be worn with suits on any occasions uh, and also uh, this can be also everyday watch an EDC watch that's something you can wear every day and I, ever since I got it I've been wearing this every single day and it can tackle it's waterproof so uh, you don't have to worry too much about that uh, and it's just absolutely gorgeous and I love this uh, engine turn bezel this is called engine turn bezel uh, but I say folded bezel I love the Roman numerals and uh, also uh, I love the Jubilee bracelet uh, the quality of the Jubilee it's not it's not it's not there uh, but this is you gotta remember this is a vintage watch from the 80s and uh, it is what it is this was back uh, in those days that was the standard uh, of course nowadays Rolex um, bracelets are much much nicer but uh, this one is still charming and I love the looks of it uh, the Jubilee band on the Rolex is just this is a, my one of my favorite looks uh, so yeah I have many bases covered there so uh, another watch that covers so many bases is this diver watch this can be a beater watch this can be everyday watch uh, this can be, this is a dive watch and this is a watch that uh, just absolutely I enjoy wearing and it's one, it was one of my, it's one of my favorite watches I wanted to say it was one of my favorite watches but it still is uh, actually these three pieces are my favorite three of my favorite watches that's why I didn't hesitate much to get rid of some other pieces and to sell some pieces and to get the funds but uh, these these three were off limits so uh, that's always nice. This is an orange first generation, and I love the first gen because uh, this watch is great on so many levels. Let me just try to find a flashlight somewhere here to show you the dial. Uh, but many of you guys know the dial on this watch. But uh, what I like about this one, first gen, is that the secondary crown on second gen. Uh, you have only one crown but I think that the secondary crown that just adds to the charm of uh, just adds to the charm of the entire watch and when you see this one on the wrist you can tell it's orient because of the second crown and uh, also I want to show you the quick dial on this watch I have a bit smudges on the crystal and uh, yeah sorry just a little bit I need to wipe it by the way this is uh, this watch this is not sapphire crystal but uh, I've been wearing it for uh, I don't know three years now and it's just held up great so you can see this dial and I love this one and this watch made me uh, get rid of my uh, Seiko SKS Seiko divers because I, I just like how this one looks I take it to the whenever I go to the seaside, to the lakes, to the pools. Oh, I don't go to pools much, but uh, to the lakes and the seaside. Uh, I have this on my wrist, and it's just gorgeous. And it's a two hundred dollar watch. Well, I, actually, this was a, this is a one fifty, hundred fifty dollar watch that looks like uh, five grand, and it's just gorgeous. I love wearing it. It's a diver beater EDC watch, and actually every of these watches, uh, all these watches is 
REDC watches. And the way this one I got, uh, this is a this is a Mont Blanc uh, Meister truck, uh, uh, and I traded in my RS for this one and uh, some other watches. And uh, but I got this one, and I like chronographs, and I like watches, I like horology, and I like complications. And uh, one of my favorite complications is chronograph and uh, chronograph is the hardest complications to do. I had cool sand watch. Fortunately, I sold that one uh, because it was gold plated. It was too small. It was 35 millimeters. And if you measure, measure it again, it was 34. And it, it just wasn't there. It wasn't perfect. I had a little bit condition issues. So uh, it had to go. Uh, but all those watches which had to go contributed to having this one and uh, this is this watch represents everything I like on watches and I have a poor lighting here but uh, let me just uh, uh, it looks so much nicer and uh, in person than, than on the video but you can see the dial here uh, the dial is not white, it's a sunburst silver dial and on the sun, sunlight today is a cloudy day uh, but on the, on, the, on the sun it just shimmers and just like this orange ray this one shimmers but it's a pearl sunburst in fact and it's just gorgeous I love the dial execution on this one uh, like the tachymeter scale just, just something that works for me i love the roman numerals of course and all of this watch it's not the most legible watch but uh i can still i still have a great side so if you're a bit older uh this is, this might not be for you but um other than that there are a couple of flaws that some things that i don't like about this watch but i think this is a solid piece and uh, I had so much joy wearing this one uh, and I just enjoy wearing it equally as my Orient and Rolex so these are the three watches in my collection that I absolutely love and enjoy having and wearing um, so you can see this is a core of my collection right now and uh, I just I just I just love it and I'm happy with these three watches uh, sure I do have some other watches but uh, these these three are my three core of my collection and from from this point uh, I don't wanna get rid of these uh, maybe something even better comes up which I like more but uh, I think the point is with watches that uh, you like watches for you and not just uh, you like watches for you to, not just you like watches for you want to tick all the boxes or you want to have the piece that everyone else has so I just want to give you a brief wrist shots as well and uh, show you I'm absolutely loving this one. This is a perfect execution for me. And uh, this is an iconic piece. I just love it. Uh, a brief wrist shot of Mont Blanc. And I think you know the wrist shots for Orient. Orient is my old watch. Just gorgeous little piece here. I love it. I love this chronograph, and uh, I think it just works. And of course, my Orient. This watch here. This is a. This is a Citizen. This is a Citizen Pro Master Quartz. Uh, it's a cool beater uh, when you're working around the house. I got it for a bargain. So I'm keeping it right now. Uh, so yeah, this is Orient 
Roman tree, first gen, and just gorgeous piece. So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, and if you made it this far, I want to ask you, do you have a little bit of a core collection of watches? Do you have a large collection of pieces? 10, 15, 20, 30 pieces. I've been there, I've been down that road. Uh, when I first started with watches, I had a lot of watches. I had almost 30 pieces, all kinds of, they were cheap, but they have, I had so much fun with them. But right now I decided to go the opposite route. So I would like to hear your, your thoughts and uh, please do tell me what do you think? And what's in your collection? I would love to hear that. So write down in the comment section. And if you like the video, uh, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, join you to the channel, and see you on the next one.